In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and turn on Grammarly to work in Google Docs. So what Grammarly is, is it is a proofreading and editing app that works with um, the different apps that you use on the web. So it works across different web apps, social media, emails, and more to improve your writing. And it does work with word processors like Google Docs and Microsoft Word, so it is very powerful. And what I'm gonna show in this video is using Chrome to install and enable um, Grammarly to work in Google Docs. However, this does work with Edge, Firefox, and Safari and other browsers. Um, but what I'm just going to show in this video is Chrome because that's what I use, but the steps are gonna end up being very similar if you use a different browser. So Grammarly does have paid plans, but their free plan is still very powerful. So I only use their free plan, and with their free plan that you can see here, um, they have grammar, spelling, punctuation, conciseness, and tone detection, which um, should be more than enough to consider using it. Um, it is more powerful than the built-in spell checking in, like Google Docs or Word, which is why so many people like to use it. Um, so first, what you need to do is if you don't have the uh, Grammarly extension added, you need to um, install that. And so what you're going to do is if you're in Chrome, you're going to go to the Chrome Web Store and then you are going to search Grammarly. Then from here, you can select Grammarly. And then what you probably are going to have to do is follow the prompts here to add and install it. I already have it added and installed that. Um, so it just says remove because it's already installed, but you'll follow the prompts here and you'll need to get it added. Um, after you've added it, then what you need to do it is you might need to open a new window and open Google Docs. If you added and installed it and in the same window, um, you open a new tab and open Google Docs, it might not work until you actually close this and open a new window. Um, that's something I experienced when I was trying to use it for the first time, is it didn't work until I closed Chrome and opened a new window and then opened Google Docs. Um, but once you have it installed, then you're actually going to need to create an account in Grammarly to get it to work. So what happened for me is when I opened Google Docs, I had a pop up right here that said log in or create an account. And then what I did is I created an account to just follow the prompts. And then after that, um, once your account is all set up and logged in, then you can begin using it. And so what you'll want to do is you'll have the Grammarly icon up here in the top right. And when you select that, then you have all these settings here for Grammarly. So I have it turned on for writing suggestions on Google Docs. I have definitions and synonyms turned on. I have correct spelling automatically turned on, show phrasal predictions on, and this one also has show emoji for detected tones on as well. So you can play with the settings here. Um, you can select which language and which kind of English you're doing. Mine is set to American English and then um, once you have all your settings set the way you want it to, you can begin to use it. So I have some text here that I purposefully have written wrong just so you can see how Grammarly works. Maybe I'll zoom in just so you can see it better. Um, so there's these red underlines over things that Grammarly has, is uh, thinking that I've done wrong. And so if I hover over this, it's asking me whether I want to correct my spelling, and this one is asking me if I should change the punctuation. What you can do is you can also select this on the bottom, see more in Grammarly, and then on the right-hand side, you should see the Grammarly sidebar open up, and this will have everything in your entire document. Um, so here are the two suggestions that I should change, and then um, there's an adjust goals button um, where you have some additional options to set uh, goals with your writing that you can play around with. So another way to access Grammarly in Google Docs is um, here I have this two, this is Grammarly saying that there's two errors, two suggestions 
in my file. So you can click that if you want, and that will also open up this Grammarly sidebar. So that is another way to use it. Um, so Grammarly is very useful if you are regularly, regularly writing, whether for personal use or professional use. Um, their free plan is pretty much a no-brainer. It's very powerful. Um, but that is how to install it and use it in Google Docs. So if you are wondering how to do that already, hopefully you found this useful. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.